What is going on everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. My goodness, what a week. What a week. What a week of profits. What a week in the stock market in general. And let's not waste any time and let's just get down to the nitty gritty. So far, the, the month of December of 2020 was our biggest month and that was at $21,000. Just to put it in perspective how huge this week was for us, we're up $25,000 for the week. Again, realize gains 15,000, just under uh, 60, we can call it 16,000. And then we still have about $10,000 left in unrealized gains. Just to reiterate that I'm beyond just proud of us. I have learned so much. Um, I'm growing and I'm getting used to seeing these ginormous numbers, even if it's a win or loss. I don't, I didn't want to make this video just to boast uh, about um, our week. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of other traders out there that made so much more money than, than we did. I understand that. Um, I'm not saying I'm the best trader here, but I am going to claim that I'm one of the most honest traders and I'm one of the most open traders that I pos that, are, that are out there in, in YouTube world. But also I want to let you know that this week, our best week came after our worst week ever. Um, if you go back a couple of videos back, I explain our um, our terrible trade in Macy's and our terrible trade in Beyond Meats. Um, Macy's was a loss of about twenty one hundred dollars. I can show you that that trade again. Um, Beyond Meat, we lost about fourteen fifteen thousand dollars altogether between Macy's and um, Beyond Meat. We lost about seventeen. The the markets humbled us um, tremendously. The markets have humbled us and I'm in a lot of option trading uh, Facebook groups. You can find me, um, you know, I can put a couple links in the description down below or comment down below if you want to know what communities I'm in. And there's a lot of folks in there that they don't get it. They All they see is the potential of making X amount if everything goes according to plan. As everybody knows, it doesn't always go as planned. And so you have to be humbled sometimes you have to eat a uh, you know a piece of that humble pie as my friends like to uh, to say it the the markets will humble you in a terrible way um but it was it was warranted guys uh, i'm i'll be the first one to admit it so enough about uh this let's get to the computer screen so i can show you um where the account sits and what trades we made we didn't make a whole lot of trades but I'll show you what other new position we got ourselves into. And then one more time, a review of everything that's in our portfolio. Let's get to the screen, guys. All right, everybody. First things first, you can see that the account is up to $445,944.15. That's where it closed today. It closed basically at the high of the day for us. Let me run down these uh, option, uh, these positions that we're in. Uh, as quick as possible, I just want to reiterate exactly what we have in our portfolio. Starting from the top, Apple, we're in a couple positions here. We own four of the 120 calls, uh, averaged at around 19 and a half, somewhere around there. And we're currently down $832.50 on that one, on those. And then we also have this vertical, uh, bought the 117, sold the 130s. We're up 360, and I may add that I'm just going through these really fast so you can pause the video and actually see what we have here. But I am just letting you know exactly what's in our portfolio right now. Adobe, we have the 450 calls. We bought two of them at 42.75, currently trading at $47, up $1,000. The vertical, we bought the 440s and sold the 460s. We have three of those. And we're up 448. Um, Beyond Meat, we finally got out of these all together. I'll show you exactly how much we're down on Beyond Meat. But we bought them back at 35 cents after selling them at 515. Sure, that's a big win, but that doesn't take into account that we lost uh, quite a bit, about $14,000. Um, I'll, I'll take a look at that towards the end of the video. 
uh, CCIV. This is the, the stock that I wanted to do the wheel option uh, strategy on. It didn't fail. By any means, it didn't fail, but we're already at $35 um, a share here. I bought uh, 200 shares. I wanted to keep 100 shares in case this would happen because I want to be a long-term investor in CCIV. I believe in what uh, what's going to happen here. I can make a, a separate video on CCIV later. Uh, but 100 shares, I wanted to try this wheel strategy. I sold the $35 call. Essentially, this is a covered call. I sold it at $330, so that's $330 that I took in in profit. And I get to keep that no matter what happens. And the idea here was I was hoping that it would go up to uh, $35, but not close above $35 so I don't get called away the 100 shares We'll see what happens. I'll, I'll, you know, just stay tuned on this one. If you're interested, comment down below. DocuSign, we own one of the $200 calls for February. I might end up rolling those over on Monday or Tuesday. We're up $1,200. I also forgot to let you know that at CCIV, we're up $635 overall. DocuSign, $1,200. FDN, we own two of the 210 calls for March. Most of these positions are going to be in March or for March expiration. We're up $712. IGV, we have a spread here, but we started off with the 325 call. I have one of them and we're up on it 1575 and today i locked in that profit instead of actually just selling out outright we turned it into a vertical and i sold the 360 call again for march and we're down five dollars on that pretty interesting uh little tool that we use to uh sell not only salvage trades but um basically pull out as much as we can out of a trade pwr we are up on uh we this is somewhat of a vertical here sold two of the 75 dollar calls and um we bought 60 six of the 65 dollar calls we're up 1630 dollars all together they come out with earnings on the 25th and paypal um we still own one here we own one of the 220 calls. We're up to 07. Um, RH, we have a vertical, two of them. Bought the 410, sold the 430. We're up 348. Square, we're up on. We have one of the $200 calls uh, straight. We're up $60. And a vertical, the, we bought the 190, sold the 210. Two of them were up nicely, 132. Tan, 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 tan. We have a vertical, five of them sold the 105, bought the 90. We're up 350 altogether. XHB, I tried getting some calls today and it just ran away. I'll show you the uh, chart here in just a second. We have the uh, a vertical right now going on, five of them bought the 135, sold the 150, up 300. XBI, look at this thing. Look how fast this is. You're looking at the bottom middle chart just took off. I was trying to buy some 145 calls here and it just took off. Never filled me in. XHB, uh, five of the $54 calls for March were up $820. XLK, we have a uh, call. We have four calls of the uh, 120 calls. Uh, we are up $232. And we have a vertical, bought the 114, sold the 125. Three of them, we are up on that nicely, 433. And last but not least, XRT bought this one. This is brand new today. We bought three of the $68 calls for March. Bought them at 1080, up at 1240, uh, 1247. We're up 507. Take a look at one last thing that I wanted to show you is how bad we're down on beyond me and macy's and a couple others uh beyond meats seventeen thousand dollars so previously i said that we were down uh 13 14 no we're down altogether we lost seventeen thousand dollars macy's was the next one we're down uh two thousand dollars down nineteen thousand dollars just between those two that was last week 
And then the next one there is SPX. I tried some some um, verticals, selling some verticals, got out at a $950 loss. AMD, Nokia lost 348. And here we go with all of our wins. Amazing, looking good. Crude oil making us big bucks, up almost 20 grand a uh, year to date. The account is up. Uh, let me show you. It will say here the account is up. $40,000, $108. So we're doing great. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Thank you for your support. If you haven't already, hit that uh, subscribe button down below. Like and share my videos. Please comment below. I would greatly appreciate your feedback. What did you make money on? What did you lose money on? Um, how can I help you become a better day trader in general? See you guys here on the very next trading video. Hoping it's a green trade. See you guys later.